guys, it's Tila's time. And today we're ranking Yukata Kimono traditional Japanese wear figures. I'm Kyoko. And I'm Safira. Yeah, we tried to find a good selection of different kimono and yukata and traditional wear figures. But mostly it's yukata and kimono. Yeah. It's no, no hakama and stuff is uh, really in here. But we tried to find some scale figures, some price figures. It was really hard to find some nendoroids because we tried to only use figures of characters that usually wear a different outfit, but we didn't do that all the time, but yeah. Our tier list categories are again, Grail would buy if I knew it, then awesome, good figure, solid figure, whatever, um, don't know, don't care, and wouldn't display it even if I <laughs> got it as a present. First up is this FNX Miku. Whoops. <laughs> I really like her. If I would, sell, if I would uh, collect Miku figures, I would have bought her. Yeah. But do you think she's a grail or is she just awesome? Mm, I think she's maybe awesome. I don't know. There are so, oh. so, so many Miku figures and especially uh, with characters that have, I don't know, thousands of figures. You have to be very, very picky. And there are even a million Yukata and Kimono Miku figures. So yeah, but I'm, uh, she's I'm really cool. Really I like really her. Like her. Um, yeah, but I'd say she's awesome. I don't think she's a grail. Next up, what's that? It's the Good Smile Company Ghost Bride. Oh yeah, she's very pretty, but I still think I would have liked a different color scheme more. Maybe it's just because she's called Ghost Bride and I thought about creepy colors. It's hard to say. I think if I would collect OCs, probably would have bought her. Yeah, but she's very expensive as well. But there's a lot of Stuff Same. going on. Stuff Very going on. Details. I think she's great worthy. Yeah, let's put her there. She's an amazing yukata and kimono figure. Next up, we have the mm. Fnex Madoka whatever version. Is it yukata or kimono? Ha ha Haregi? Yukata? Kimono? Kimono. I think it's a kimono. I think she's really pretty. There are a few Madoka kimono yukata figures and I think this one is the best of uh, all of them. Is she a grail? That's the question. Mm, not for me, because I'm not that huge mega fan of Madoka, so she uh, would be too expensive for me. Yeah. Um, I think she's an awesome figure, yeah. I don't know. I think I th think she's more awesome than this one, but I don't know why. <laughs> it's a character bonus, I believe. Probably. Because you're more attached to Madoka than you are attached, attached to, to Miku. Miku, I'd say. Yeah, and there are less cool Madoka figures and there are cool Miku figures yes. as well. And I think if she was a grey figure for you, wouldn't you have bought her? Bought yeah. Her? This time really Yukata versions of Makise and Mayuri from Freeing? By Freeing from Steins Gate. Um, I think I do have the Mayuri and I think she's a good figure, but I just think she's a good figure. Her expression is not the best, I'd say. It's a little bit... <laughs> yeah. Um, and honestly, the yukatas look a bit bland and boring, which most of the time yukatas just do. Yeah, but they're good figures. They're good figures. And I think they look nice. I would never uh, sell her, but yeah, she's not she's not better than the other three yes. figures we have in here. Okay, next up we have one of those very, very expensive real fabric kimono figures. There are a few of these. From Furyu as well, right? Yeah, they're Furyu figures and we just picked the Sakura to have a little bit of a character variety. And I think she's very pretty. She's really, really pretty. I would never buy her because she's way too expensive for me. But she looks pretty damn awesome. How big are those? Are they one They're one fourth scale. One fourth? They're very mm. big. Would you say she's a grail or is she just awesome? Nah, I think she's a grail. She's better than the Madoka. She's very expensive though, so yeah. But her face and everything looks really nice and the... I think it's the Sakura branch or the branch that she has on her is really nice as well. Next up we have the Shiromuku version of Raftaya. Usually I'm not too big of a fan of these because I think the big amount of white sometimes look a bit, looks a bit boring and a little bit cheap. It looks a yeah. little bit plasticky. But we're not, we're not fans of wedding dresses, uh, so... Yeah, but I think the Raftalia actually is really nice. I really like the different layers that you can see at the legs. Um, it's a very pretty Raftalia figure, so... Yeah, I think she's awesome. She's awesome. awesome. But I don't think she's better than these two. No. Okay, next up we have an Albedo 
score for the price figure. I think she's a good figure. Yeah, she's a good price figure. Yeah. If you're looking for a affordable albedo in a different outfit, I think this one would be a good option. Yeah. And I think at least um, her obi, is it obi? Yeah, it's an obi. It's better than <laughs> these plain and simple ones, but she's a good figure. She's a good figure, she's a good I, figure. I believe, especially for the price you pay. Yeah. Next up, we have the free new kata version of Inori from Guilty Crown. I actually really like her. I'm not too in love with her face. It's a little bit bland, but yeah, I don't mind it, her face. I really like the yukata design. I think her egoist uh, fan is really, really cute. Yeah, I really like her. I'd say she's a good figure as yeah. well, or would you say she's awesome? I think I would put that. Yeah, let's here. put her there. Because she's not up to par with those. That's true. But I think her, at least her yukata design is a bit more interesting than these two. Yeah. And um, yeah, not seen many orange yukatas actually. That's true, that's true. And overall, Inri has just a very pretty she's character design. <laughs> now we up. have a whole set of Grey Worthy figures, and these are the. From Stronger. The Stronger Yukata Kimono set uh, of all the Vocaloid characters. And there are Grails. Well, I love them. They're all awesome. Yeah. I, I think my favorite is Luca. I really like the... Her sitting on the tree is really cute, but they're all amazing. So Very, very nice figures. Can't go wrong with either of them. Okay, next up we have... A risque figure, maybe it's not fitting 100% our... Uh... <laughs> but we try to get some variations, so it's uh, actually a uh, freeing bunny. I think she's called Shiranui as well. I think for a freeing bunny, her design is actually very creative. <laughs> it's a nice, um, yeah, it's something else for the usual bunny um, stuff. And it's obviously um, inspired by Yukata or Kimono. Um, yeah, it's a nice figure, but I hate her pose. <laughs> yeah, it just looks like she slipped and she's <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think she's um, she's a great figure to pick up if you're looking for a bunny figure, then she's really interesting. If you're looking for a yukata figure, maybe she... or a kimono figure, maybe she's not yeah. the figure you would go for. I don't know how I feel about her. I really like her, but the pose is just stupid looking. <laughs> I think she's a good figure. I think she's a good figure, yeah. yeah. The pose is just <laughs> stupid. Looks a little bit painful. Next up we have the... The better Shiranui. <laughs> the, the real Shiranui. And she has a short uh, kimono yeah, dress. But she is beautiful, her character design is beautiful. Uh, the pose is interesting, the base is interesting. Lots of interesting details in her um, the, outfit. And the quality looks pretty... Amazing from the photos that we have seen. Uh, so yeah, I think she's a great. She's great worthy. Or at least we pre-ordered her, so she's and she's better than. Yeah, she's better than those. Okay, next up we have the uh, Shiro Shiro Moku. Yes, I like the pastel colors. It's a little bit. It's it's something different. I yeah. don't know what Shiro has going for her is her color theme. That's her colors true. are very nice always because you know it's something else, but. Yeah, yeah I and Shiro is Shiro. I think she's pretty similar to. She's very similar to the Raptalia. They're the same figure line. They're both pretty cool. Um, let's put her next to Raptalia. Yeah. It is actually really hard to find bad kimono figures. Yeah, most of them look very good. Good, or at least decent. So, yeah. Okay, here we have um, this figure. I have forgotten who this is. Okay, and honestly, this is a figure I think. It's Plain and simple, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> I hate the design on her yukata. Yeah, it looks just like a puffer jacket, but as a yukata. It's really weird. Stripes are ugly, the stupid head. <laughs> and it's just all blue. You can't really, on the photo, it's really hard to tell where something ends. <laughs> where does the hair end? Where does the uh, outfit start? Yeah. I'd say wooden display even if it no. wasn't. I really <laughs> she was this. actually yeah, she was actually one of the only figures uh, that we found that was like uh. Okay, next up we have a couple of male Yukata figures. And it's Shinji and Kawo Kawo? Ka yeah. Kawa the other guy. I think it's the same with them. I think so they are yeah. good figures. It's um, cool to see some uh, male characters in Yukata. Um I think I would put them on the same um, 
as Mayori and yeah. Makise, but since we love those two more, they need to go there. And I think they look cool next to each other. Yeah. Next up we have Rem and Drama. From Puryu in the Oiran version. Pretty figures. They're, yeah, they're pretty cool. I really like the Oiran figures, to be honest. Th there's a lot going on and sometimes it can be a bit too much, but I think these two are really, really pretty. I think um, I like the... Uh, Blue hair is Ram. Ram, yeah. Ram. I think I like Ram a bit, a bit, a bit more. Yeah, I like her color scheme a bit more. Uh, but Oof. both very, very nice figures. Um, if it was a cat, hmm, I think they're better than the other ones. Yeah. Down here, maybe. Yeah. Let's I don't know if I like those. Well, like these more than this one. I personally like uh, the Ram and Ram more, to be honest. Would you put them here? Maybe put them at the front of awesome. We just don't really care about the characters, but the figures are pretty awesome. Yeah, but we don't care about this character. Yep. So yeah, that's true. Ah, sometimes it's very hard to decide yeah. place these things. Maybe stretching this category a bit? Yeah, I think he's the only one who's wearing the original outfit. <laughs> but we wanted to get some more male figures in here, so we have the medicine seller from Mononoke. I love this figure. It's so amazing. Uh, I haven't seen the anime yet. I really want to do it because I want to buy this figure. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do that soon. But I think the figure is amazing. And I just got a Wii release recently. Yeah, design is top notch. Very, yeah. very nice character design and uh, figure concept and stuff. So it's amazing. And uh, Kotobuki did the figure, so the quality will be nice. So as well. if I knew it and liked the character, would buy, buy it, so yes. Maybe. Okay, now we have another Miku figure, and it's this, I think, 2000, 2015 or 14 racing Miku with the butterfly wings, and I really don't like her. You can't see it on the on the on the picture, but her hair is one 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 of the twin tails is in front of her, and the other is behind her, and the base underneath her is like this big. It's huge and really, really ugly. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think she is one that I wouldn't display, <laughs> even if it was a gift, because her face is just awful and she takes up a lot of space. Even though the face and stuff is really pretty and the idea of a Yukata fairy is cute as well, but... Okay, next up we have this prize Miku. I think, was it like a New Year thingy or something? Yeah. Summer? No, Summer? Summer? I have no idea. Um, were... Why did we pick this one? Didn't we didn't we want to choose the yellow version? I don't know. Now we have this one and there are a few versions of her with yellow stripes and with eyes closed and one eye open. Yeah, I honestly don't like this design. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, at first when it came out a few years ago, I really liked it. I liked the mask and stuff, but not a big fan of it anymore either. It's not a bad figure, but actually it's not the best Miku press figure either. Don't know, don't care. Yeah. yeah. Okay, next up we have this Gram Kata. <laughs> I don't know who did this figure. I don't think it's a freeing figure, but I don't know. Yeah, we have this Yukata Gram. I think she's the best Yukata figure of all the Yukata figures that we had be until now. I don't know if she's awesome though. I'd say. No, hmm. I think she's not on the tier with these two, with these characters. Yeah. She's a she's a good figure. Yeah, she's a really good figure. She's bordering on awesome, maybe, but yeah. I mean, you can't compare. Really, this is just this is just another level. So yeah. you need to stay on the top of good figures. Yes. Somewhere has to be the. <laughs> she's the queen of the good figures. She's queen of the good figures. Okay, next up we have. Slayers, I have forgotten her name. Uh, what's her name? I really, really like her. <laughs> she looks amazing. Actually, I think I would buy her if I knew it. I really like her. I don't yeah. know what it is, but she looks awesome. I think it's um, the pose is cutesy and there's a lot of... The, the pattern on her kimono is nice. And I really like that she's a different style. She looks very different than under other anime figures because she looks like the old Slayer anime style. But it looks really high quality, really nice. Uh, I think they just did an amazing job. Yeah. Um, Agreed. Next up is this girl. I have no idea who it is. It's from Union Creative. It's an OC and it's a cat girl in a 
yukata, I think, or in a kimono. I think the promo pictures look really good. I don't know if she uh, turns out or has turned out that good. In no idea. Just um, yeah, judging based on the picture, I'd say she's a good figure. Yeah, I put her in front of Blum. So she's the new queen of the good figures. She's the... They can share the yeah the throne because. Here we don't know anything about the quality. We know that this figure actually looks really good. Yeah. So they can share the top spot. Yes. Okay, and last but definitely not least is the Kana from Dragon Maid from Furyu. She's an amazing figure as well. I love her kimono design with the dragon. It's so cute. Super cute. I love the Daruma and the bamboo uh, thingy. She's amazing. She's not, I think I'd even put a... Yeah. Yeah, let's put her there. Put her there because we don't know you. We don't know Kana either. Yeah, that's true. But at least she fulfills the criteria of she wears a different outfit than in the and show. And she's super cute. And she's we have cute. seen her say you, so. Uh, that's true. <laughs> Life on stage, so. Yeah, at least that's something. Yeah. And she's very cute. Yes. And everybody who uh, owns her loves her, so. Yeah. She's one of the most popular kimono figures out there, if she's not even the po most popular one. Okay, so that's our ranking. If you enjoyed this and want to see more rankings, please subscribe to our channel and maybe let us know uh, what would your tier list look like. Yeah, and have we missed any very important kimono yukata figure in your opinion? Let us know and see you next time. Bye! Bye.